What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Today, I have a G-Code uh, Scorpion low-vis belt for us to take a look at. We're going to talk about the pros, the cons, the features, what I think of it overall, how much you can customize it, and a spoiler alert, this is an extremely extremely nice belt. Uh, as far as my quick disclosure, yes, I do work in the firearms industry. No, I do not have any connection to G-Code in any way, shape, or form. Neither one of those things will affect this review in any way because these are my opinions only. This belt was loaned to me by one of my neighbors, actually. It's funny, I run around the neighborhood in a plate carrier and I'm making friends with all of the gun guys in my neighborhood. So I wanna thank my neighbor. Uh, he's a smart man and he has no social media accounts of any kind. So he'll probably never see this video, but either way, let me thank him. I'll keep him nameless, but th thank you very, very much to that fine, fine gentleman. All right, so when you buy a belt from G-Code, you have a bunch of different options. You can buy just the belt and customize it however you want to with whatever magazine pouches, whether it be G-Code's pouches or somebody else's pouches. They also sell in a Salters system, which is very similar to this, except for it comes with a med kit and does not come with as many of these magazine pouches. Again, this is the low viz kit, so no magazine kit, but it does come with a few more of the Scorpion magazine carrier. Let's just start in the front of the belt and we will go around it. The Cobra buckle is extremely nice, very, very beefy. Uh, assume it's gonna last for a very, very long time. This particular one does have the D-ring on it. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute, but there's a long list of, of ways you can upgrade and customize these belts. And that's one of the things my buddy got. He sprung for the extra clip. Uh, the belt itself, is uh, extremely nice. It's very rigid, very high quality material. It can support a good amount of weight. The stitching is very, very nice. Everything's like box stitched and double stitched. And I'm gonna assume this belt is going to last my neighbor for a very, very long time. Uh, the loop here in the front I thought was kind of cool. It has a little loop, an accessory loop. It's gonna be good for any uh, anything on the lighter side. Uh, for example, uh, a, a flashlight maybe a pair of gloves, a chem light, anything like that. Just a little accessory loop right here in the front. Now all six of these magazine pouches back here are G-Code's Scorpion magazine pouches. Inside they have a hard plastic frame that goes around the magazine, and then the inside, the front of the back of the magazine is this sticky kind of rubber material that really holds the magazine in place extremely well. Even if somebody picks you up, flips you upside down, and shakes the snot out of you, your magazines are probably not going to drop out. At uh, the bottom here, you do have these bungees. If you want to adjust the retention on the magazine to make it a little tighter, a little looser, whatever, you can do so. One of my favorite parts are the clips they use. The Molly clips they use are great. They're much easier to take on and off, a lot less likely to break than a traditional uh, Molly clip. And if you've ever used one, you know exactly what I mean. When you start taking them off, they, they you can break them very, very easily. The low vis belt does come with a second RTI hanger here as well. If you don't want the drop one, you can use the standard one. You could use it for a holster um, if you slide it over, or you can also use it to mount an accessory like a med pouch, a grenade launcher, flashbangs, I don't know, whatever you want to put on there. Now the second RTI hanger on here is a drop down, drop leg type um, of system. It works a lot better. I think it's a lot easier to get to the firearm. You don't have to cant as much, especially if you're wearing a plate carrier. It's probably something you're gonna want to get your firearm easy to reach too. The way the RTI system works is very, very easy. You just slide this latch across and that's what holds the accessory in place. For example, I have a couple of their holsters here. Uh, G-Code does make very, very nice holsters. This is a level two I guess. Uh, the RTI hanger on the back looks like that. Just three little feet. It goes inside of the hanger. Oop, I was closing it before I meant to. We'll put it in, push it down, and then push across and now it's locked in place and it doesn't come out. I've never had a problem with one coming out. We'll put, push that latch back lift up and then out. So it's nice so if you have different guns you wanna shoot at the range and you have different holsters, you can easily swap them. Or if you wanna move it from one belt to a different belt or to a chest or to the car or whatever, it just it's very modular and you can swap them very, very easily. Uh, last two features I wanna call out. One is this belt keeper. I know it's just a belt keeper, but it's extremely nice, very, very durable. Uh, they did a good job with something simple as a belt keeper, and that's important. You don't want the excess material flapping all over the place and you looking like a fool. Last is the inner belt. Uh, it's, it's kept here in Velcro, as I'm sure you can 
exterior of the Velcro. Uh, you don't have to have an inner belt, but I think it's a good idea to help keep the uh, belt in place, especially if you have a good amount of weight and you're moving around. Um, the inner belt is great. This is the thicker padded one and it's very padded and very, very comfortable. They also have a much thinner, skinnier one. If you want the belt to sit a little closer to you and you don't want the pad, that's an option as well. The way these work, you run them around. You don't wear another belt, just this. You wear them uh, inside of your uh, belt loop. So you put it on as you would a normal belt with the Velcro facing out. Then when you get the outer belt here, the belt, the Velcro on this belt, sticks to the Velcro in the inner belt, and that's what holds it all together. Hydrate or die. Before we get into all of the different customizing you can do on this belt, let me quickly thank the sponsor of today's video, and that is Blackout Coffee. Blackout Coffee is made right here in the States, down in Florida. Small batch roasted, they support the veterans. Great company, great flavors. Discount code is right there, link down in the video description. If you are a coffee, tea, or hot chocolate drinker, definitely check them out because they are absolutely delicious. All right, how you can customize this belt. There's a lot of different ways. I'll try to go through them quickly. The first thing is the pistol pouches. These are the shorter pistol pouches. You can also get taller ones for larger magazines. Even the short ones did hold large 21 round, 21 round SIG magazines without any problems, but you do have those options. As far as your belt sizes, they run anywhere from 28 inches up to 56 inches. Just make sure you read the sizing guide directions on the website so you order the correct size. Next, you have an option on this Cobra buckle or a Cobra buckle with the D-ring. Again, this one here does have the D-ring. My buddy uh, spent the extra uh, bucks to get the upgraded D-ring on here if that's something you want. You have six different colors to choose from as you can see up here on the screen. Next choice is the inner belt. Again, you can get no inner belt if you want to. I highly recommend you get one, especially if you're gonna put a good amount of weight on here. This one is the padded one, and you also can get the slim or non-padded option. Uh, for an extra 15 bucks, you can have G-Code assemble the entire belt with all the accessories for you if you don't feel like or don't know how to do it. And last, but certainly not least, um, if you want a metal, metal cobra buckle on the leg strap instead of a plastic one, you can upgrade the metal buckle on the leg strap to get something a little bit more durable. So if you go with every single upgrade that G-Code offers, the cost of this belt is gonna go from $289 to around $380. So again, they're very high quality, but they're definitely not cheap. Uh, I've had this belt for several weeks. My neighbor was nice enough to let me keep it for a few weeks. I wore it to the range a few times, just my, my weekly Saturday range trips. I also brought it to the Shooters Fitness class once. It's a weekly class I go to that incorporates fitness and shooting into one and you burpees and push-ups and sled drags and all sorts of nonsense. So I used it for a few different rain trips. So the pros, I think it's great that it's made in the States. It seems very, very high quality from the stitching to the materials, everything else just seems very high quality. I think it's going to last for a very, very long time. I really like the Scorpion uh, mag pouches. I think they did a great job with those mag pouches. As far as cons, I do not have one con on the belt at all. It's expensive, but it's very, very good. If you are gonna get any uh, G-Code accessories, RTI accessories, I highly recommend you throw some Loctite on them. I throw Loctite on almost everything. I've had some of my uh, screws back out. Uh, my belt has the same RTI hanger with the leg strap, and I had both of my screws back out before I put a Loctite on them, and I also had one of my screws back out on my uh, older G-Code appendix holster as well, so maybe some Loctite, but overall uh, they are very, very solid. Um, I'm not getting rid of my Snake Eater Tactical Belt. That's the current one I use just because I'm cheap. But if you are in the market for a higher end, nice belt, this should definitely be on the list with several other companies. All right, before you guys go, let me quickly thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Blackout Coffee Company. Let me also thank my Patreon supporters, the other companies who support me with affiliate links, my neighbor for letting me loan his battle belt for a few weeks and I want to thank you guys for watching because it is greatly, greatly appreciated. If you think I deserve it, quickly drop me a like, maybe throw me a comment, whatever you want, just be nice. And uh, again, if you think I deserve it, subscribe to the channel and enable the bell notification. I will see you next time. Peace!